Welcome back. This is video 8 of our squat rack series where we learn to build a squat rack in Fusion 360. In this video we're going to learn how to build these different rubber coverings on the ends of the squat rack. So we can see these rubber coverings in any of the images of the squat rack both on the top and the bottom and you can see the ones on the bottom are a little bit different than the ones on the top and if we refer back to our PDF we can actually find this part it's part 14 and 15 in their exploded view one is called the foot cover and one is called the tube cover and if we go to page 9 of this sheet we can actually see it exploded out here and here and if we look closely, we can actually see more or less what these two parts are actually shaped like. Let's start with part 14, the foot cover. And so I'm going to start by starting a new sketch on the front of the left base. Move my view over. And let's start by projecting this geometry here. And hit OK. Then let's grab our offset tool and select the outer shape and let's drag it out 0.1 inch just to give this rubber covering some thickness and hit OK. Then let's finish our sketch, hit extrude and select only that outer shape, select new component and let's drag it back two inches. So we'll type a negative two and hit OK. And so we're looking at this backwards, but this fits around this end. So this part that we just built is this front part here. And so the back of this will be the front of this. And it looks like it sort of makes this triangular shape. So we can do that pretty easily. Let's start a new sketch on this right face. And let's get everything else out of our way with the slice. And grab our line tool. And at the top corner, drag down. Then drag to this bottom corner. Right click OK, find our horizontal constraint and select this bottom line. Right click OK and let's give this a dimension of, let's make it equidistant. Let's say it's two inches as well. And let's finish our sketch and extrude. And I can't seem to select that edge. It looks like it's because I didn't actually connect this. Let's go back into that sketch grab our line tool and finish that triangle off and now we have a full shape let's finish our sketch again and let's hit extrude and let's go to object let's go around to the other side and say go here and before we hit ok let's turn off this left base because it looks like it's trying to connect it to this so if we turn that off it's going to automatically connect to our new component here and so then let's hit OK. And let's go ahead and change the name of this new component. And what was the name of this again? It's the foot cover. That's a good name. Let's change the name of this to foot cover. And hit enter. And then, well, it looks a little funny. So let's add these fillets that are needed here to these four corners. And let's go with point two. And that looks pretty good. And we look at the inside, we can see how it fits inside. Hit OK. Now let's make it look a little bit more realistic. These are all black. We can't really see it in our PDF here, but it is a all black sort of rubber piece. So let's go to appearance. And instead of going with our normal black, let's go ahead and search for rubber. And it should be in Fusion 360 Appearance Library. Let's go to Rubber Soft and drag it on. Hit Close. And now it's starting to look pretty realistic. We can turn our left base back on. And let's reference back. And it looks like it does have a bottom platform as well. So let's go to the bottom. Start a new sketch on the bottom. And let's just draw a rectangle that's a little bit bigger. Right click OK. 
and let's give it a dimension of just a quarter inch from each direction. So 0.25 from this edge, we'll zoom in, grab the end to this edge and tell that to be 0.25. And then from this end as well, 0.25 and then down here as well, 0.25. And let's finish that sketch and let's extrude this 0.25 as well make it a join and hit okay and i'd say that looks really good let's go ahead and mirror that so let's go to create mirror make sure you have components selected and for your plane let's just select the origin and hit okay and then let's repeat that create mirror let's select both components and let's go across the perpendicular origin plane and hit OK. And so that covers the foot cover, but what about the tube plug that you see on the top? Well, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller and it looks like, well, it's not designed to have anything sitting on it. It just fills in the hole so people don't stick their fingers in there. OK, well, that's really easy. Let's go ahead and start a sketch on this front plane here. And once again, let's move it to where we want to see. And let's hit P on our keyboard for project geometry. And let's project this entire shape and hit OK. But if you look at this, it doesn't wrap around this time. It actually inserts inside. And so this time, instead of offsetting outside, let's offset inside. So let's select all four of these lines on the inside. And let's go in 0.1, just like before, and hit OK. And then we can finish our sketch and we can extrude. And let's go back. And if you look, it's actually much smaller. So let's not go two inches like we did before. Let's just go negative 0.5 inches. And let's make sure we select new component and hit OK. And then let's go ahead and add the appearance by hitting A on our keyboard, finding rubber and dragging it on, and closing that out. And then if we take a look, it looks like it's about the same size as the piece that it covers when it comes out. So the outside is a little bit bigger than the inside, or it looks like it's just the same size as this. I'm actually not gonna start a new sketch for this. Instead, I'm going to go back to my previous sketch, the very last one that I just used, and turn it back on. Then I'm going to hit Extrude and select these two outer rectangles and this center rectangle. I'm going to make sure I turn off this top right bar. And I want to extrude it forward. And let's just go 0.5, just like before so that it goes the same distance out as it does in and hit OK. Then we can turn off that last sketch and let's just close out this sketch dialog altogether. And we can turn back on our top right bar and we can see it fits in there perfectly. And so all that's left is to mirror again. So let's go to create mirror, select this component for our plane, select so that it goes across and hit OK. And then again, create mirror, select both. And for the plane, select the perpendicular plane. And it looks like it doesn't put it in the right spot. And I guess that makes sense since we actually extruded this back further from this height than we did from this front height. So it's not exactly centered there at the top. And so we need a new work plane, but actually, instead of using a new work plane, let's see if one of these previous work planes would work. And no, that's diagonal. Okay, no, no, no. Um, actually, I think that very first work plane would work, so we don't need to make a new one. If you look, it is centered in between these two bars, and the top is also centered between these two bars. So I think that'll work. Let's go to Create, Mirror, and let's select those two components again. And then for our plane, let's go to inside our construction, that very first plane that we used and hit okay. 
and it looks like that did it perfectly. Let's make sure we save our progress, and I will see you in the next video.